Caliestro's Secrets is the new DLC for Steel Rising, so we're back taking up arms as Aegis the Dancer to fight this new threat. The DLC adds new weapons, armor, boss, a quest line, and more. Let's talk about it and if you should pick up this expansion. Let's go. Hey, if you like Steel Rising and other action RPGs and RPGs in general, maybe you should hit that subscribe button. Gliestro's Secrets launches on November 10th. Spiders have promised a few new additions with this DLC, a new level, an entirely new quest in the main story, five weapons, one boss, several new enemies and new variations on existing enemies, two new characters and new side quests that will invite you to revisit certain levels. So we'll start with the level itself, the Hopital Saint Louis. I've been working on my French, can you tell? This new level is only accessible after you've completed the Bastille section of the main game and then by talking to Abby Gregory, you can unlock the quest and the area. Everything I've said about spider's level design in the past in my original review, go watch that if you haven't, holds true here. A great area with interconnected pathways and a good use of verticality and the alchemical tools as you explore and make your way through this new quest. You still have no news from Citroën Brissot. Indeed, we wait in vain and our hopes are beginning to fade. He knew we were to meet here at the first blood spilt by the king. Mes amis, we must fear the worst. Exploring this new area will net you five new weapons and a new armor set. The weapons are mostly the fulmination weapons, so like lightning, for the existing weapon categories. There's some unique ones though, like the Gaia Claws that I picked up that have a shockwave weapon skill that I actually quite liked and used these a little bit. These weapons aren't reinventing the wheel or the combat loop in Steel Rising, but I find the combat here as engaging and as enjoyable nonetheless as I did in the main game. The marketing material also mentions several new enemies. However, I only really found that there's one new enemy with different variations of that enemy. So the different types being ice and fire and fulmination, same as you would expect from the main game. That enemy, however, does have some unique strategy to those combat encounters. One variant will heal the other automats while the fulmination variant can revive defeated automats. I enjoyed the interactions between the automats and these encounters a lot as in the base game, the automats don't typically interact with themselves directly in any really way unless they accidentally damage each other, which still happens here, but I would have liked these encounters to be a bit more fleshed out, including multiple copies of these enemies to give some more thought and strategy to dealing with these different encounters and this new enemy type, as some of the combat encounters here feel almost identical to the base game as you fight one or two enemies at once. Spiders really seem afraid to overwhelm the player with including a large amount of enemies in a single encounter or too close together, and that is definitely a letdown. I was really hoping for some harder combat encounters as pretty much until you get to the very end of Still Rising, most of the encounters are really only one or two enemies. And despite this, I really did enjoy this new enemy type and the variations on existing enemies that you would have experienced in the original base game. I just would have liked them to design some longer, more complex encounters around the reviving or healing mechanics that were added with these new automats rather than them just being a little bit of spice in very tight encounters with like one of these new enemies and then one of the old enemies, if that makes sense. My name is on this bracelet. Do you know what it is, or why it bears this inscription? I haven't the slightest idea. Aegis. The mighty shield and scourge of Zeus. The new quest line revolves around finding what happens to Jean-Pierre Brissett during the events of the main game. This quest line is pretty typical for Still Rising in that you go to a new area of the map, you learn about a specific character and how they ended up under Cagliestro's control, and then culminating in a final boss fight, we free that character from his control. I won't show the new boss as I think it's better to experience it yourself if you are interested, it's kind of spoilery, but their mechanics were new and engaging and and despite being seriously overleveled with like maxed out gear, I did die to the boss once, which is always good. I love dying in games like this. The blog also mentions that there are new side quests that will invite you to revisit certain levels. I could not find any of these quests. There are several things to read and collect in the new area, which unlock doors, which will have like items or like the new armor set inside them. However, I couldn't find any new side quests. I spoke to everyone at Luxembourg and the save file that I was playing on is like right at the very end of the game. So theoretically, these should be unlocked. Maybe Maybe I have to do something, maybe I've missed something, please let me know in the comments if I have and if you have figured out what these side quests are. Once you have finished this main quest line and the area, the new characters, the two new characters will appear at Luxembourg for you to talk to and continue some conversations and give more context to the events of the main campaign with them and some of the other characters in the game, which I did find enjoyable as that was some stuff that I felt was missing from the original game, which is a little bit more fleshed out because of this DLC. I would have liked more though, which is honestly a shame. I love spiders and the work they do with their RP 
RPGs. Greedfall was excellent and there is a lot to like in Still Rising. However, it didn't get the marketing style I personally think it deserved and now launching a short DLC in the middle of Sonic and God of War and Dying Light 2 DLC, I feel as though this is going to get missed by even Still Rising fans and that is a shame. The new content is about two to three hours long depending on how much time you spend exploring the new area. Is Cagliostro's Secrets enough content that you should return to Aegis's world? Probably not. If you really liked Still Rising, I think you'll be happy with this new content. Even if you're playing Still Rising right now and wondering if you should also pick this up, I think in that case you should because there's more of Still Rising here if you're enjoying the game and it adds more context to the main story and the bleakness of Paris and the world and everything. It's all here and interconnected into that main story. This really feels like part of the main game without it feeling like a true expansion or different things in the game. But if you didn't like the base game or you have a huge amount of other titles to play, like honestly I do right now as well, then you're honestly not missing much by giving this a miss. There is a lot to like here, don't get me wrong, and as they haven't released the price of how much this is going to cost yet, it's really hard to say yes you should go and play this with the small amount of content that is here, however if it's relatively cheap and you are playing Still Rising right now or picking it up in the future when you've got tons of time, then I don't think you will be disappointed. Let me know if you have any questions about the DLC or Still Rising in the comments down below, go check out my other Still Rising content, I'll have some links and stuff here. Thank you for watching this video till the end, thank you to our members for supporting the channel, my name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.